Well, let's take a look at those rain chances. You may have gotten a little bit of rain this evening, or maybe you're still seeing it if you're in spots like Greenwood over toward Abbeville, Newberry. Uh, we're going to have about a 50% chance of rain during the day uh, Friday, especially late day into your evening. Saturday, most of it's going to be in the morning, but we've got about a 30% chance. Should be mostly dry by Sunday, and then rain chances go right back up. It's going with the theme of our winter. We've had a lot of rain so far. Uh, we have not had much rain the last couple of days. It's been nice and warm, but now we've had a few showers develop and we're seeing uh, that continue around Abbeville and over toward Calhoun Falls, Greenwood, Bradley, seeing some of that light to moderate rain. And this is generally moving from west to east slowly, and that's going to dissipate, get out of our area in time for the morning commute. Temperatures holding in the 60s. It's mild out there. Feels more like a late spring evening uh, than one that's in the middle of February 60 right now in the, the upstate excuse me tonight in the upstate for your overnight low hard to imagine that though at 60 is as cool as it's going to get but that's true 54 for the mountains so might need a light jacket but otherwise it's going to be a uh, pretty warm for this time of year in the morning and into the afternoon still warmer than normal just not pushing 80 like we did today in the low 70s uh, around Greenwood 70 and Anderson 67 for Asheville. So future track starting in the morning. I mentioned the showers we're seeing now. They should dissipate and we should be mostly dry in the morning, but we'll have another round of moisture coming in as we head toward noon. Uh, we'll have some spotty showers developing. We'll watch this really takes over and becomes widespread, but nothing heavy and no severe weather or anything like that. I don't even think you'll hear a rumble of thunder out of this, uh, but it's going to move through around six, seven, eight o'clock in the evening on Friday, and then we'll still have lingering showers overnight as that moisture stream in from west to east along a boundary. Now what's going to happen is we'll start the morning on Saturday with a few showers, but eventually a lot of this moisture is going to lift to the north, so we'll end up with most of that rain uh, confined to the mountains as we get into the second half of Saturday. So not all of Saturday looks like a soaker in the upstate, but the mountains, that's where we could have the rain that lingers pretty much off and on through the day. So have a big time backup plan for anything you want to do outside the mountains and the upstate. I think you'll be all right, at least the second half of the day. And then we'll have a small chance of rain into the early part of Sunday. So I think the best time to get outside this weekend is going to be 2 p.m. on Sunday. Should be mostly dry across the entire area and we'll warm it back up getting into the 70s, but Saturday is going to be a pretty chilly day. Let's break it down in the seven day forecast. Notice we'll be down into the mid 50s after being near 80 today and then 72 on Friday. That might be a little bit of a shock, so make sure you still have some winter gear you can grab. And then on into Sunday, it will warm back up into the 70s. Uh, into early next week, mid 70s on Monday, about a 30% chance of isolated showers. But by Tuesday and Wednesday, mostly sunny skies and still near 70 degrees for that high. So no major cold snap setting our way in the mountains, about a 50% chance of rain on Saturday and then Sunday. We could still have a few lingering morning showers, but a good chunk of the day is looking pretty good. And then another round of rain as a front moves through on Monday. And that'll actually drop our temperatures at night. Notice we'll be back down into the 30s on Tuesday night with highs in the 60s across the mountains with mostly sunny skies Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Of course, you can download the First Alert weather app, scan the QR code on your screen, and you can get the app for free.